Welcome to Botanical Beach on Vancouver Island, a place where tide pools sparkle, sea stars sunbathe, and Ted the Great is here to lead the expedition. Ted, you just declared greatness to a bunch of snails. <laughs> <laughs> and that rock says nope. When the tide goes out, it leaves behind little puddles of ocean in rocky spots. These tide pools become tiny homes for creatures that cling, crawl, or squish. People have studied this coastline for over a hundred years. It's part of the traditional territory of the New Chanuk people, who've long known its richness. I found an ancient artifact! That's a rock, Ted. Correction! A mysterious rock! See that wiggly thing? That's a sea anemone. It's an animal, not a plant. And it catches food with sticky arms. Sticky like jam on toast, but less tasty. Or glue on glitter. I love glitter. I've invented sea star sparkle paint. Yay! When you explore tide pools, you've got to watch the waves, which Ted forgot. I have bravely discovered the depths. Introducing the Great Soaked Ted Fish. It only eats soggy sandwiches and misplaces its dignity. Snack tip. Always pack dry snacks and extra socks. Crabs don't share. And remember, these creatures survive pounding waves, drying sun, and nosy explorers like us. So be gentle, walk carefully, and leave no trace. The tide will return, and so will the sea stars. Next time, waterproof boots and a snack that floats. Like glitter marshmallows. Scientifically inadvisable. Next time, we're hiking high into the Andes Mountains to explore the incredible ruins of Machu Picchu. Wait, do llamas like snacks? Asking for a friend. I'm packing altitude-proof paint. I shall discover the lost sandwich of the sun. Bring sunscreen and science. Lots of science. Hit like, smash subscribe, and don't miss the next adventure.